Hey guys, I recently created an ambient combination patch for a Hillsong team night that we did that we wanted it to be a little more acoustic and more ambient. Um, so what I'll do is I'll play through these sounds um, and then I'll explain how I created it after that. So what I'll do is I'll explain each patch separately first. So the first channel strip here, I've got a Rhodes. I've got it going into Lexicon Reverb and this uh, Black Hole Reverb, which I'll show you. I've got two different ones um, that I'm experimenting with. Um, I really like kind of the ambient vibe these give. So really cool for film score stuff, really cool for extreme um, ambient stuff. Um, so that's uh, where that's going uh, to the Lexicon first. Um, and then it's going to the black hole and then it's going to this delay. Now I did something interesting with the delay too. Um, I've got it on a dirty delay, analog delay with lots of saturation. So you could hear when I was playing the notes harder, it was breaking up. Um, and then I've actually sent that back to the black hole reverbs. That way the um, delay is also getting a lot of reverb on it um, and giving you this kind of uh, Forever Rain vibe. Actually, that's what I did for Forever Rain. I put a delay on the roads for Forever Rain um, that had extra overdrive and extra reverb on it. So you get that really gritty uh, reverby delay. So I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to take all the reverb off the roads and only have the reverb on the delay so you can hear what it's doing. So there you go, that's the kind of ambient roads idea that I had. Um, and then I mixed in this patch from Omnisphere. So I'll put a link to this if you want in the uh, video description, but this is my analog Vox string swells. Um, really nice. It's got um, this patch mixed in, which almost sounds like a vocal, but it's not. It's an analog synth that sounds like a vocal. If you want more of a profit um, pad, I've also got the analog profit string swells, which is another alternative to this, but I really like it because it's giving you that kind of um, organic vocal effect um, even though it's not real vocals so yeah I really like that patch um, and that patch um, I've got going through the lexicon as well um, there's actually nothing on here my templates a bit all over the show because I like to kind of experiment and create on the fly um, so that's why there's all these plugins that are um, bypassed and sending it to other buses because I've obviously tried something out um, at one stage or other um, and it's going to that uh, black hole reverb as well um, and when you move the mod wheel up, it gives you that um, additional patch here. The string version comes in and gives you a really nice kind of string swell. So I'll play that one in isolation as well. Okay, uh, moving on to the last one. This is actually an organ. Um, it's from Retro Organs, but if you're wanting to recreate this, you don't have to use this exact organ. Um, the three first drawbars are pulled out, um, so that's giving you a nice, really 
warm, um, not a bright organ sound. And the way I got the sound is by sending the whole signal to the black hole reverb. So there's none of the original dry um, organ sound coming through. It's only going through the reverb. So I'll show you this one in isolation as well. So I'll show you them all together and I'll do it in reverse order this time. Um, but yeah, basically that's the patch that I created, a really nice ambient kind of combination patch um, when you need a little bit more um, of an ethereal type mixture of sounds rather than um, what I'd maybe typically use on a Sunday morning or Sunday night at Hillsong Church.